Welcome to the course Art of Curation in Education Knowledge Sommelier 101 A sommelier is a wine taster a person who sips wine and distinguishes the bad from the good and the great We can think of a knowledge sommelier as a person who tastes knowledge nuggets and has the capability and the discretion to find gems This is very similar to what a curator does In a museum a curator finds and presents the best pieces of art around a chosen theme. There is increasingly a need for teachers to become knowledge sommeliers. Because in the world of bits, internet and the world wide web, there is a colossal amount of information and knowledge being constantly added from which great pieces can be selected to augment teaching. In fact, there is a need for all learner facilitators, be their parents, grandparents, independent educators, or self-directed learners themselves to learn the art of curating content to enrich the learning experience and deepen their understanding. My name is Atul Pant. I have designed this course and I will be your course instructor. A bit about myself. I have authored two books on learning. First one titled Fire Up the Learner Within, which explains how one can become a self-directed learner. And the second one titled, Only the Curious Shall Thrive, which explains how to formulate insightful questions that lead to deeper understanding. I've been in the e-learning industry for 15 years, and I've started two companies, Enabling Dimensions, a company based out of Singapore, providing bespoke e-learning solutions to clients globally, and Timeless Life Skills, a company based out of London providing blended learning solutions for 21st century skills. Skills like uh, self-directed learning, creative and critical thinking, financial literacy, learning to be, and so forth. I'm quite an avid content curator myself, and I will share some of my work with you during the course. I live with my family in London, and during the course I will also share with you my experiences in curation for my 11 year old son, curation as a parent. We will start the course with a discussion on what is curation and how does it differ from aggregation. We will also deliberate about the growing importance of curation. Next, we will look at some emerging trends in education that make it imperative for teachers and other learner facilitators to excel at the art of content curation. We will then get hands on and look at the framework of art of curation. We can think of curation as a three-step process. Step one is finding or filtering information. Here, we will look at different types of filters and strategies to find quality content. We will see how best to use algorithmic filters like Google or Bing. Social filters are what are also called wisdom of the crowd filters and personal filters like the service Quora. We will also consider how OER or open educational resources are increasingly becoming great sources of educational content and how massively open online courses or MOOCs can be used to keep the learning curve steep. Step two is organizing information. And here we will discuss an online tool called Digo that is quite effective and easy to use. When we organize information, our objective is to create personal or a group learning space. Step three is adding a layer of meaning to the curated content and presenting it elegantly. The layer of meaning that a curator adds to the curated content is what makes the content meaningful for the target audience. We will look at tools like Storyfy, Paperly, and Scoopit. We will also discuss how Facebook can be used to not only present the curated content, but to start a learning community around the content. Finally, we will consider the ethical issues in curation. Since curation involves the uh, use of content that is someone else's intellectual property, we will consider what stops curation degenerating into plagiarism. Also, with curation fast gaining ground, we will consider the issue of 
proper attribution and acknowledgement when you end up curating other curators. I hope you will find the course interesting and useful.